Today we're going to be looking at our new Tweakopedia build. This system is going to be used for our multi-monitor, our multi-GPU testing. Um, we've got a fair bit of beef in the hardware department here. Um, we're starting off with Gigabyte's awesome Z87X-OC motherboard. Um, coupled with that we've got a Core i7-4770K Haswell 4th generation core processor sitting in there. We'll have that overclocked to different speeds. Um, we're doing about 4.6, 4.8 uh, gigahertz at the moment. We've got uh, 32 gig of Patriot DDR3 2400 MHz RAM that you can see there. It's actually quite good. Um, nice clean heat spreaders on it and we've got some Corsair memory that we're going to be playing with inside of this as well. We'll do a bit of switching and changing as time goes past. The chassis that it's in is the Inwin's uh, X-Frame Limited Edition, which they are kind enough to send it to, over to us. You can see a bit of ghetto modding here. We've also got Corsair's H110i water cooling unit that's cooling our Core i7-4770K. We've also uh, received Corsair's AX1200i digital power supply, which will be beefy enough to power the four GPUs that we'll be putting in this soon enough. We've also got some Corsair SSDs. So we had a Corsair Force GT 240 gig that runs our NVIDIA testing. We've got another Force GT over there that runs the AMD testing and a um, Neutron GTX 480 gig SSD. This thing is beautiful. It's nice and thin as you can see there. It's amazing how far hard drive technology has come. So we're just gonna have a quick look at the motherboard now. We've got some um, uh, video output here, digital uh, display port and HDMI. We won't be using those because we'll have our own video card. We've got two USB 2 ports here and six USB 3 ports. And we've got um, gigabit Ethernet and the usual audio ports. But the best thing on this motherboard is probably going to be the OC buttons that you can see here. Um, these OC buttons allow you to do multiple things within the system. Um, they allow you to... to from here, you can see them all along here. So you can do tag, turbo, base clocking um, increases, CPU ratio increases. All you have to do is just click one of these buttons and your CPU ratio goes up, or you can tap one of them and your CPU clocks, um, uh, CPU ratio or base clock increases. You've also got some um, uh, PCI Express switches that uh, let you disable video cards, so uh, PCI Express slots, so you can actually disable physical PCI Express slots. So you can actually press two, three, or four there, and it will disable the second, third, or fourth PCI Express slot. That's actually pretty handy if you're testing four GPUs and want to just disable three of them for single GPU testing, but don't want to physically take out a GPU. We've also got some onboard voltage monitoring um, that you can see here. We're not going to be using those because we're not going to be going into some crazy overclocking, but this board has been doing some world records for the overclockers out there on liquid nitrogen, so that kind of stuff there. Is very important for them. You can actually connect up a multimeter, a multimeter, so you can see, um, uh, so you can measure component voltages separately, which is a really good feature for the advanced overclockers. So you can see there in high detail. Got a lot of things that you can play with on the overclocking side of things. And take a quick look, a, quick, a more detailed look at these tag buttons. So you got tag, turbo, gear, CPU ratio, CPU base clock, and the power button. So like I said before, this motherboard and new setup is going to be powering our Tweakopedia section. Um, it's getting pretty exciting. We've got some video cards to show off in another video that will be below this. A bunch of help from Sapphire and NVIDIA Direct. It's exciting times. We've got two more Zeus PB278Q monitors on their way, which should be with us in about a week to 10 days now. Once they get here, we'll be doing some high resolution testing. Check back soon.